guys, it's Wisdom Wednesday. This is Kim Jefferson of the Fabulous Fit Squad. And today I wanted to talk about your why. And I do a lot of self-development reading. I do a lot of self-development, um, attending a lot of events. And it, every single person, I don't care who the guru is, they all talk about your why. Your why is what gets you going. And your why is what keeps you going when things get hard. Let's face it change is hard. So, you know, when you feel like just packing up your toys and going home, it's your why that keeps you moving forward. And I used to get caught up on my why a lot because I thought it had to be this big altruistic thing. And oh my goodness, I just, it had to be huge and it had to be overwhelming. And finally, I was just like, you know what? I looked at some things I've done in my life that I have changed. And I looked at like why I did it. Like, why did I keep going? And so the first thing I can think about was my fitness journey. My fitness journey started because my husband and I got married and his family doesn't have a good health history. And basically I said to him, I don't want you to die on me, so let's get healthy. And that's how my whole fitness career started, was me trying to help my husband get healthy. Was that altruistic? I don't know. Was it selfish? Definitely, because I was like, you know, I can't deal with you dying. So the second thing I can think of all my fitness career is I was told like, hey, why don't you try to do fitness competitions? And I was like, I'm not this, I'm not that. Of course, like everyone, I'm the knots comes out. And then the Red Sox win the World Series. This was 2004. And I was like, okay, if the Red Sox can win the World Series, anything is possible. It took them 86 years. If, if it takes me 86 years to do a fitness competition, I can at least say I won my own personal World Series. Uh, the third thing was starting my own business. Um, there'd be plenty of times when I worked for other people that my boss or bosses would come in and tell me something and I would just smile and nod and I would just be like, oh my God, I so can do better than this. And that's what caused me to start working for myself. I was just like, I'm not meant to work for someone else. And so those are the, those three decisions, I fell back onto the reason why I started it, you know, I wanted to get my husband healthy. So when it was three degrees outside and I was shoveling my car out, it was, I want us to have a healthy life and live as long as we possibly can. When I went to start to do fitness competitions, I was like, okay, the Red Sox tried for 86 years to win the World Series. They never stopped. So that's what kept me going to do my fitness competitions. When I started my own business, I was like, you know what? I could sit in my office, sit in my cube, sit in whatever and listen to a jerk or and complain about everything else, or I could come up with a reason for me to get out of my job. So I hope that those three things have helped you to really think about what you want to change and think about why you want to change. It doesn't have to be a big overwhelming thing, but just think about it. And I would love for you to share what you want to change and what your why is if you feel comfortable. Share it in the comments below or shoot me an email. Um, my email is going to be right at the end of this video. So have an amazing Wednesday and I'll talk to you soon.